In this video, I want to show you some more advanced features of the Qt templating engine in Quarkus, what is called includes and inserts, custom tags and injections. I have this example with a simple entry page with a title of an entry. If you're wondering um, how I got there, you can have a look at the previous video. And now I want to include something that is called an include, um, a reusable component that I might have in multiple templates. So when I write, you know, some a few blocks that I always want to reuse within my project, that it makes uh, might make sense to write a template um, that I can include. So assuming I want to create a teaser.html, which will be a teaser that I can include somewhere. So with an h2 tag, for example, uh, where I then say I write insert an um, insert um, section of a title, for example. So I can insert something here and I can insert some content with a paragraph tag, for example. Um, I can write it in this way or I can also provide some default if that is not set. And then if I invoke this template from, well, as an, um, as an include, then no content, then I can overwrite this and I can set this somewhere here where I have an include. So how this works, I write an include um, section and I point to this other template, my teaser, and then um, I can set, for example, um, the title with, in my case, I of course want to use my entry title. And then I can set this already from including my snippet here, my teaser snippet with these two HTML tags and no content here because this wasn't set. So of course, what I would need to do is to set the content also and say this is, for example, this abstract content. And then this also works. And I have an include from some piece of code that I can include in my template. Of course, these are only two lines of code um, in my um, teaser HTML, but this might be more complex and I can have reusable components. So if you have a more complex setup, this might come in handy. What is also an interesting feature is to create something uh, that is very similar to custom HTML tags, if you want, which is called custom tags. So you can have your own section, your own tag um, for something where you don't really want to have an include um, uh, already, but where it's a little bit uh, less um, code for something that is even more concise and smaller, maybe, for example, something like a YouTube video. So I have a tag that in my case um, is this one, a YouTube snippet. These tags per default resides on the um, tags. Uh, so resources, template, tags. And then in this case, I want to include um, a video for a specific ID. So this includes a YouTube link with a specific YouTube ID. And in case you're wondering, this, by the way, is uh, a comment in uh, Qt. And then I can include this here and say, okay, for example, this is supposed to be called uh, with a parameter. So this is a named parameter ID equals something. And I can access these named parameters uh, easily in my tag in my custom tag. So I don't need to configure anything here if I use this custom structure uh, tags YouTube, and then I can refresh this and then I get a nice snippet with a YouTube video here. So this is how you define and use your custom tags. And depending what you need in your project, uh, you can use these to structure a more uh, otherwise complex uh, setup. Um, of course, you can also uh, restructure the includes if you want to make that a little bit uh, with a better overview. So for example, I can say, well, I also define an includes uh, folder here. And then of course, I need to uh, qualify this in that way. And then my includes here recites under includes that also works. And another thing that I want to show you um, is that you can actually inject your CDI beans from within your templates. So I would say this might be a little bit dangerous depending what you do because you don't want to have some business logic that you um, invoke from within your template. Usually it's more advisable to, uh, for the sake of the architecture, to use your uh, controller or their part where you actually directly invoke your templating engine, uh, which is implicitly done here, and then just provide all of the data that you want explicitly. But what you can also do, you can use um, a custom 
um, a namespace inject and then inject something that might be a named uh, bean for example uh, coffee shop dot get coffee and what that is I have a coffee shop bean here the, uh, this is an application scope CDI bean and if I make this a uh, named bean with at named then um, I can qualify and inject this uh, via the name and then I can just um, invoke a method such as get coffee and then I can return um, a coffee here by calling dot get coffee or this also would generate an access to method if I just call dot coffee this also works or I can use um, some brackets here as well so this is a way how I can uh, inject and invoke um, some methods that are defined on a CDI bean. It might or might not make sense depending on what you're doing, but these are some more um, advanced uh, features that you can use uh, in in Qt, in, in Quarkus, and you might have a look at the reference guide here. It's uh, still experimental, but already quite um, powerful what it ships with. Thanks for watching.